Hi. So today I have uh, David Hosserton, producer of uh, House, one of my favorite shows here, uh, chatting with me. Uh, thanks a lot, David, for doing this interview. With sure. You. So, David, I understand that you are a long-time buddy of uh, David Shaw, the creator of House. I was uh, wondering if you were being like being in the position of a long-time friend and kind of a right-hand man of the, the show, uh, like of David. What, what's your? Uh, do you have like a special uh, place to like sometimes give special opinion that other people may not be able to give to David Shaw? Uh, only about his personal life, <laughs> and uh, and I keep it that way intentionally because there is a hierarchy at work, and uh, I want to maintain that. And you know, I don't want to be the 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 friend that is able to go in and catch his ear, as a, you know, as opposed to my superiors that are there. Um, and so I really respect that hierarchy, and I want to maintain it. And and it's just about. It's just about being professional. I, I was very aware of not abusing that position of friendship when I came in, mm -hmm. and um, I probably have. But that's okay. <laughs> uh, right. So, um, can you talk a little bit about the creative process that go into creating uh, some of the episodes? Like, uh, for example, let's take uh, the recent last few episodes that we have seen. Uh, and you're the producer of the, those uh, episodes, I think, uh, House uh, Head and then uh, Wilson's Heart, the last episode, like that, wow, kind of put the whole thing, the, the House the series into a different spin, potentially. Yeah, I, first of all, they were great episodes. Yeah. There was, um, after the writer's strike, we came back and there were four new episodes mm -hmm. after the strike. We had to get those up going up very, very quickly, and I wrote the first one back, and um, the uh, House's Head and Wilson's Heart, they're the very dramatic ones, and they are fantastic episodes. Uh, when I read those scripts, they're some of the best scripts I've ever read. Um, Did you guys think of those, how it's going to end in the beginning of the show, or like it's really episode by episode, the story could change? Like, the, for example, the, there may be a change in, like, it's putting Wilson's uh, place in the series in doubt a little bit, right? Is he going to quit, or like, is he going to hate the uh, house so much? Or what? Yeah. Can you well, talk a yeah, about the. That? The um, medical stories, right. which we call the A stories, right. those are uh, those are derived on an episode by episode basis, and, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes they're more or less interchangeable between the episodes. Um, the B stories or the uh, the character stories, those are arcs often, mm -hmm. and um, those have to be uh, you know composed months and months in advance. So, for example. Um, Amber, Wilson's yeah. girlfriend, yeah. we decided months ago that uh, Wilson and Amber would have a romantic interest, and so we had to start that up, you know, mm -hmm. relatively soon and play it out, and because we knew something was going to happen to Amber. Right. So, so yeah, that was that was built, mm -hmm. um, but not in the absolute beginning when there are a whole bunch of those uh, or, uh, interns or auditing. Uh, 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 doctors, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah, right. yeah. When, when we started season four, and we mm -hmm. had all the uh, the team members, the, the team new members, team members. Yeah. Um, yeah, we didn't we didn't really know who was going to stay and who was going to go. Um, so but in a sense, it's a survivor in the real life. For it, the it, it really, <laughs> it really was, you know. Uh -huh. And uh, and they were great actors. We're really happy with the team. But I mean, we loved Amber. You know, mm -hmm. Anne Dudak is the actress's name. We loved her so much, and uh, it just fit the story to bring her back as Wilson's love interest and then she had this incredible dramatic um, mm -hmm. ending and uh, she was fantastic and uh, Robert Sean Leonard was fantastic in that episode. There, there's a little bit of Emmy buzz going oh, right. around for him which uh -huh. uh, duly, uh, duly deserved. Mm -hmm. but, um, but they were great episodes and also they were very um, difficult episodes to shoot, as you can imagine, a lot of special effects. Yeah, the bus crash. Yeah, uh, it was fantastic. You look the exteriors, all that stuff, um, and just uh, the more that the episode is shot in the hospital, the easier it is mm -hmm. physically to do in terms of timetable and stuff. Very little of those episodes were in the traditional hospital rooms, mm -hmm. so it just it was a big uh, production issue, and our production team just came together, did a fantastic job. 
And, uh, I mean, as I say, not only were they some of the best episodes I've ever read in script, but, I mean, they're some of the best episodes I've ever seen on TV. And mm -hmm. uh, that's my humble opinion, of course, right. a little biased, but, mm -hmm. but I love them. In terms of the script, like, h how long does it take you guys to actually create a script? And do you guys work in work in de on them in parallel or kind of in a sequence? Uh, so, well, basically what happens is we'll sit down and, as I said, we'll, we'll come up with this story arc, that, and that will come from David Shore in conjunction with the staff of writers. But he, he definitely has the final word, and he will make the final judgment on you know, where the story arc is going to be going. And then um, each writer will often come up with a medical A story oh. and pitch it. Mm -hmm. and get approved, and then they get slotted into the schedule. So, mm -hmm. for example, this last, uh, at the end of season four, I was episode uh, 16. 16? Anyway, I think so, I forget. 15, I think. And uh, season five, I'm episode six. Mm -hmm. And so, so the medical story got pitched in the whole batch, and then the story, the, the medical uh, disease or what issues get fit into different episodes. Is that how it works? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the individual writer will go off and take his medical story, his A story, uh. and work that up. And you start with uh, a one-line pitch, go to a, a two-page pitch, go mm -hmm. to a ten-page outline, and then finally go to script. So right. it's a slow build. And David uh, will approve it at every step of the line. Mm -hmm. One line. Right. So the... the so let's say the the, uh, the medical story you got pitched uh, got taken uh, you think episode 16, and then is that the process? Is the process then you will also create or pull in all other potential disease that all got mentioned or potential other causes in the episode and and you, how do you do the research I suppose? Oh, the medical? Yeah, the story? medical story. Um, the internet is your best friend. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, and there's there's two sources. First of all, we have a um, an MD on staff, uh -huh. Dr. David Foster, and he is our he is a he is a producer uh -huh. as well. Uh, he holds the same title as me, and he is a writer as well as a producer on the show. So we go to him all the time, and then we have three other uh, practicing doctors on retainer. Like specialists on retainer. Yeah, uh -huh. and uh, they have their own private practices, mm -hmm. but uh, we send them the scripts and they will vet the scripts oh. or the outline, or we can pick up the phone and pitch them ideas and they will suggest ideas or suggest problems with their ideas, suggest fixes with their ideas. And then as I say, the internet is absolutely invaluable because mm -hmm. as you know, I mean, you can type in, uh, you know, I need, Three symptoms that are incurable from a genetic <laughs> right. disease, yeah. and you'll get four diseases. Uh -huh. And, uh, and uh, I mean, I'm on it 20, 30 times a day, looking up medical symptoms and medical issues and all that stuff. Wow. But the, the other thing we're kind of proud of is that um, even though it's a it, it, it's a fictional show, you know, it's not a documentary, it's not a medical documentary. We take pride in the fact that everything on the show is medically, if not likely, mm -hmm. is at least medically possible. Possible. Yeah. Right. And and that's kind of our standard. You know, we're, we're not going for the typical cases. How is right. this guy who's gotten the most um, difficult medical cases in the world? Mm -hmm. And so these are not the cases that come into the typical uh, GP's office. These mm -hmm. are the cases that a doctor will never see in the course of his lifetime. Mm -hmm. And so those are, that's also sort of our excuse for the fact that these are really, um, a lot of the diseases are really out there, but they all exist. Right. I trust you guys have a, a great following uh, on the internet and people talk about the disease and whatnot. So I suppose with uh, all the research and specialists that you guys have on staff, um, the, the chances of people picking up uh, mistakes or whatnot is Slim, would you say that, right? Uh, you know, there's, uh, yeah, it's, it's incredible. I don't go on the boards too often, uh, but once one of my episodes that I've written, once it airs, I like to go on the next day and just check it out. And it's amazing how people pick up issues right. and problems and mistakes, things that I never thought of. You know, I've been working uh, on this thing for four months. Uh -huh. Figured I thought of every angle, covered off every problem, and people will find little issues in the writing and, and, and in the medicine, mm -hmm. and um, I, they don't let you get away with anything. Right. But you know, the bottom line is, as long as it's enjoyable dramatically, yeah. um, 
they let us get away with it. So right, right. that becomes a fun thing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we don't like as a big fan, like we don't go into the medical detail. Like I'm not, a, I don't have much medical uh, background, but I got the thrill of watching it, and I know enough that you guys actually put in a lot of effort into the research. So I enjoy the characters, the relationships, the, the detectives, the Mexico detective side of it. Yeah, and I mean, and those are always the fun scenes, you know, the scenes between House and Wilson and House and Cuddy and Cuddy and Wilson and House and the team. But I mean, the character stories, I think, are always the really compelling aspect of the show. The medicine, obviously, is a, a fun mystery to follow, and, and that's the motor, that's the engine of the show. Mm -hmm. And obviously, without that, you have no show. Mm -hmm. But I think it's also really what draws people in is the characters, you know, mm. uh, that we love to love or love to hate. So. Right, right. There's, there's some complaints, and uh, I, I may count myself and my, my better half as one of the, those people of uh, the three original team members are not getting much of the airtime now. Right. <laughs> so is there going to be change in the upcoming season? What's there? Like, don't tell there's too much secrets, but right. shed some light on that. Yeah. You know, What's we really, thinking? I mean, we don't have any, uh, we're into, we're shooting episode four right now uh -huh. of season five, and uh, we have the next 10 or 12 episodes plotted out, and I mean, we, we don't have any significant change in the format of the show. Um, obviously, we have House and his team, which, you know, the, the regular day-to-day -day team includes Foreman and the three new members of the team, mm -hmm. and then Chase and Cameron are still in the hospital, and we still integrate them into the show, mm -hmm. you know, as much as possible, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, they're great actors. It was just, it was just about um, injecting some new blood and bring being able to bring in new characters that sort of brought in new stories and mm -hmm. things like that. But we also loved those actors and those characters so much we didn't want to get rid of them. No, oh, yeah. And so now it's it's just sort of a challenge to keep all those characters in the air, you know, juggling, mm -hmm. uh, keep the plate spinning, all, uh, you know, six right. um, char supporting characters. Mm -hmm. And plus you've got Wilson and Cuddy, mm -hmm. who, you know... It, the more of them you see, the better. Mm. So it's it's really tough from a from a writing perspective to bring all these characters in and do them justice. But mm. the nice thing is we have them there, mm. and we can use them uh, when we want them. Mm. And uh, and and but yeah, there's no uh, there, I, I don't have any bombshells to drop that way. There's. Right. Everybody's on the show, and we're so trying to use So they're still staying on the show. Still there, right. yeah. And uh, will uh, it's a uh, story that I don't know the the name of the actor and actress. So will uh, Chase and uh, Chase and Cameron are they happy to be on the show, uh, but don't actually have much airtime? Like, have they complain? <laughs> I, you know, no, I mean not not to me. I uh -huh. no, I don't know. I know that. Um, uh, uh, Jennifer Morrison, who plays Cameron. I mean, she's been doing uh, some movie work and stuff like that. So, oh, right, right. Uh, but no, I mean, they're they're great people. And, yeah, they uh, are. They come in, and uh, I, I don't really know them on a personal level, so mm -hmm. I, I can't comment on how they're feeling. But um, as far as I know, they're still happy to be on a, mm -hmm. on a great show. Right, it was a great show that actually got them. No, notice right by me or uh, maybe some other viewers sure. right and it's like yeah. wow they and and they, if they branch on to other things that's great yeah, yeah. so uh, and so you have shot uh, uh, season five uh, episode one two three uh, already and um, any any things that you can tell us what to expect so you have, I think David you may have already hinted so Wilson is still going to stay on the show How's the rela his relationship is going to be changed with uh, how is that I can't tell you ah, okay. but I can tell you that um, you are going to be seeing Robert um, but and we do a few things with him but uh, but yeah I mean he's uh, he's great his relationship with house is fantastic and, and I just personally that's one of the things I love to write mm -hmm. you know uh, the house Wilson scene is just mm -hmm. is probably the single most fun thing to sit down and do mm -hmm. uh, because the dynamic between those two is fantastic mm -hmm. and and because you know Wilson is house's equal and mm -hmm. he's the guy yeah. that always can dish it right back to him right and sometimes on the odd occasion get the better of him mm -hmm. and I think that's a really delicious moment, mm -hmm. you know, when House gets his come up, and so to speak. So, right, right. so yeah, we'll be seeing some of uh, 
Robert Shaw. Right. How does it like? How is it like working with Hugh Laurie? How is like the, to to me? I've seen his in, uh, interview on David Letterman or other shows, and uh, is very British. Right. And uh, right. totally different the person than uh, how the house we see on TV, the accent and everything. So how, can you shed some light on that? Um, you know, he he stays, he keeps his uh, American accent. First of all, his American accent is absolutely impeccable. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah. I, I can tell before I hear him. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I had, well, I knew him as an actor, obviously, right, as a right. British actor, but I mean, I cannot tell. I never hear any kind of Britishisms or anything like that coming out, so I think it's fantastic. And uh, when he's on set, he stays in that accent, you know, because mm -hmm. he doesn't want to drift back and forth. Mm -hmm. And uh, he is a fantastic guy to work with and a fantastic actor to deliver your lines. I was just, I was saying uh, to my wife yesterday, I just wrote a line, and I came downstairs and I said, I was working at home, and I came downstairs and I said, I just wrote a really stupid line, but I know that Hugh will deliver that. Mm -hmm. And it, it's so fantastic to have this, the confidence in an actor who can take whatever you do, hopefully you do good stuff, mm -hmm. but you can take whatever you do and make it work. And this mm -hmm. guy just has, obviously he's a great actor and right. he's been recognized for that, mm -hmm. but uh, his comic timing and his comic delivery is... Uh, Really second to none. Mm -hmm. With all the great uh, writing, I suppose the improvisation on on set is pretty minimal. Would you say? Like uh, yeah, pretty it, much it, everything is go on based on script. Yeah, in terms of the the words, mm -hmm, the words that yeah. the that the actors say, I mean that really is all very specifically scripted. Mm -hmm. In terms of how it's delivered, the manner in which it's delivered, you know, the uh, the staging and and all that kind of stuff. Um, that's all stuff that happens on set between the actors and the directors and the, the producers. But yeah, the, there is not the, the actual dialogue. There's, there's very little uh, mm -hmm. improv. Right. So how much time does it take to write an episode and uh, to shoot an episode, uh, like finish an episode? On uh, average. The writing, uh, you know, really varies, but I mean, anywhere from when I came back from the writer's strike, that was a real rush, and we had to get out a, a script in, oh, a couple of weeks. I mean, it, you know, we really had to blast that out. But generally, in terms of research and everything, we're talking a couple of months. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of shooting, there's a week of uh, prep, and then uh, we technically have eight shooting days. Usually we go into a ninth shooting day. Mm -hmm. but that, And then, then it goes into post, but then, of course, the next episode start shooting right. immediately thereafter. So that's that's generally how it plays out. Right. So final question. Sure. As a big fan of the show, I hope the show will just go on forever and you guys keep making the show enjoyable and, oh, and me too. fun to watch. But is there a plan to actually end the show on season number eight or whatnot or this is going to go on as as much as we the audience love it and, and want it? Uh, the latter. It, we we just we just been picked up for season five. Uh -huh. Everybody's thrilled about that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we're going to do 24 more episodes. And as far as I know, you know, in the TV world, it, things go as long as people are watching. You know, mm -hmm. and and the advertisers are paying the bills. So mm -hmm. we're going to go for it. Right. As a bonus question, I noticed that sometimes you guys throw in some Canadianism or Canadian reference in. Right. Are you guys still doing it in the new, new season? <laughs> I, I hope to. I mean, in the odd time there'll be a reference to London, too. You yeah. know, and only Canadians know that there's another London in the mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, because between David Shore and I, there's uh, two other Canadian writers on the... Uh, on the show, and uh, we have a little Canadian club there. So yeah, any Canadian reference that can make it through, we appreciate it. Great. Thanks a lot, David, for being an interview by me. Sure, absolutely.